I will say let's get started. So you want to add the legacy text to your timeline and let's say our animation is going to last for a second and a half long. So I will trim the end from this point. Now you want to click the generated media icon to edit the text. Let's say I will rename this to want this and I will change my font type to bang gothic. Once you have chosen the font type, you want to open up your pan and crop. Let's say our text will zoom in. So on your very first frame, you want to scale into your text. Let's say up till here. And make this into a fast fade. Go around 10 frames forward. And you want to restore its size like so. Make this keyframe into a slow fade. Now you want to go to your last frame. Add a keyframe and make this keyframe into a fast fade. Step back 10 frames, add a keyframe again and now you want to further scale it out a little to give it some movement. Go to your last frame and scale it out until it's really small. Something like this. Once you're done with this, you want to add the Gaussian Blur and choose the Soften preset. Animate your horizontal and vertical range and make both the keyframes into a fast fit. Go 10 frames forward and reduce the horizontal range and vertical range back to zero, making both of these keyframes into a slow fade. Now go to the point from where it starts to scale out and add a keyframe. Make both of these keyframes into a slow fade. Copy your first keyframe and paste it on your very last frame. In order to do that, you want to add a new keyframe and simply right click and click paste. Now let's add our flash animation. So for that, you want to insert a new video track and I will link the animation in the description below so you can go ahead and download it. Now when this particular box appears, you want to press no. And once you've added your animation, you want to right click and disable your resampling. Add chroma key to your animation to get rid of the background. So go to the color, choose the color dropper tool and select the background. Once you've selected your background, you want to enable your show mask. So we have a good look at what part of our clip is getting keyed out. As soon as we enable our mask, the parts other than our main clip lighten up. Which means we need to increase our low threshold and decrease our high threshold for a better effect. You want to switch off your mask again. Let's say our flash animation is going to be somewhere in the middle of our text animation. Now you can further tweak the size of your animation to suit the size of your text. Let's say we'll scale it down, but while scaling it down, you wanna make sure that you're not creating any additional keyframes. Let's say we'll fasten the animation, go to one of the ends of your clip, click control and simply drag it in to speed up your clip. And basically that's it, that's how you do this animation. Now, if you want to do a second animation for let's say the text follow me, so all you need to do is copy and paste your text and while pasting it, you want to make sure that you select create a new copy. Now all you need to do is rename your text. Simply import some other flash animation or you can use the same flash animation which you used with your previous text. So I will import a new animation. And now once you've imported your animation, you want to right click, go to switches and disable the resampling. So you just want to copy your previous animation and right click and click paste event attributes on the animation you just imported. And basically that's it, that's how you do this text animation. So that's it for this tutorial guys, I hope you found this helpful. If so, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe.